Hello, everybody. I'm Peter Hunt, a dentist in Philadelphia. I graduated in Great Britain, a fourth-generation dentist, and came, like my brother and my father, to America for graduate training at the University of Pennsylvania. And it gives me great pleasure now to be back in Philadelphia and in practice here. We have a patient who has fractured a mandibular molar. It's a clean fracture. And the question comes about whether we replace this by a traditional mode or we can go faster at it. We're going to choose to go the faster route. The risk profile for her is relatively straightforward. She's healthy. She's young. She's fit. Uh, all of the anatomy is in good condition, apart, of course, from the particular tooth. This is a straightforward procedure. Patients often have to spend a great deal of time in the therapy for the replacement of a mandibular molar or a maxillary molar. Essentially, this process is taking a socket regeneration and blending that with a, an implant placement. And by doing this in combination, we can have very high success rates and we can speed up the therapy and have one major procedure. The approach is simple enough. We need a careful atraumatic removal of the fractured tooth. We're going to be placing an implant into the socket, and that requires changing the position of the septum. So we have a whole process which we need to follow the steps very carefully. So let's start with the original situation. Here you see the fracture that she presents with. And so she has chosen to go with the implant route. With this, the first key to this is a clean atraumatic extraction. At this time, you can see that I've diverted the septum by placing the initial pilot drill down the mesial root space, and I am uprighting that. And we find that almost invariably, the septum will move and become formed as you see here. And in the next situation, what I'm able to do is to place an implant. I'm also placing the platform a little below the sides of the proximal bone walls. You don't want the implant to be too high in the socket here. Once the implant is placed, we place a four millimeter gingiva former in the top of the implant. In this region here, you can now see that I've covered around and packed down a whole lot of BioOS collagen into the region. And now we've taken a, a large mucograft uh, material, a membrane here. What I'm doing is tucking this down under the gingival margins. Often we may soak it, and that makes it easier to chest tuck under the gingival margin. At this time, you can see that I've sutured across the top of the mucograft membrane, and it's all one tie. So it pulls tight. I am not trying to advance the flaps over the whole socket just to hold the whole thing together. And here you see the emergence profile that we've been able to develop. And you can see that we have great emergence form and we have been able to reproduce the anatomy of a tooth coming up out of the soft tissue complex. And here you see the final restoration in place. So the outcome of this is relatively straightforward. It's a single stage molar replacement. It's a socket regeneration at the same time as placing an implant. It's a matter of merging those two procedures together. Be very precise in cleaning out those deficiencies and granulation tissues down in the bottom of the socket. You need to be able to develop adequate stability for the implant. We place that implant just down below the socket walls a little bit. It's not a very lengthy procedure, but it's also one where we get the whole lot done in one time and we're able to move forwards to another case. In this, the key to my mind, taking a sound implant and then merging it with these two good materials. The BIOS collagen is, to my mind, the material of choice to use. The uh, addition of the 10% collagen completely improves the system here. There's no question in my mind that the mucograft is the simplest and the easiest, and this is something which has made a transformation in this procedure as far as I'm concerned. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Thank you indeed.